Hi guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. So I'm just cleansing the energy of the space and sending this video blessings. So in today's video, I'm going to share with you five things you must quit in order to manifest your dream life and enhance your divine feminine energy because the divine feminine energy is the creator of all things. She is the manifester of the manifester. She is the manifestation queen or goddess because she creates through her magnetic energy, right? So these are five things to quit if you are wanting to manifest your dream life. So I have them written down here, which is why I'm looking down. So the first one is very interesting and something I do not see spoken about anywhere, but it is something I'm so passionate about, which is quitting coffee. Now, I have I drank coffee, I drink coffee the odd time, like maybe once or twice a month. But for the most part, I have quit it for the past six to seven months, maybe even longer. And before, let me I, I, let me share. So when I read a book, it was called Caffeine Blues. It was about this thick, this thick, and it made me quit coffee instantly because I was so afraid after reading it. And I started to attract all these situations in my life that proved to me how this belief was true, right? So I started working with this healer here, and she said that coffee takes more energy than it gives. So it is going to take and deplete your energy rather than give you more. Okay, so understand when we are manifesting, we are using our sacred vibrational heavy like our beautiful energy right and what happens is so many people in today's society we are scattered like we have no energy if you look around people don't have life in them they're very exhausted they're very like you know just they don't smile they just look quite you know dead behind the eyes because they're so depleted in their energy because they were never taught how to channel energy into specific things so that they could manifest their dream life they were taught how to give it away to everyone right through phones through all these things to food through all these things coffee is one of the biggest ones and we don't even realize it we think it gives us energy it actually just sends a shock system to our brain and to our body it creates almost this stress alert which is what creates that urgency it's actually a, a form of anxiety but people don't realize that because it just feels so good, right? I used to be addicted to coffee, I understand. Coffee is not actually giving you energy. It is taking away your energy and your focus and down the line, a few hours, you're going to crash again, right? So coffee takes your energy. And when we don't have a lot of energy, we are not able to create or manifest or channel our energy and focus it in onto things that we want to create because manifestation is energy being put onto a certain thing until it is physicalized. Physicalized, not even the word, until it is physical, right? That is what manifestation is. So when we are channeling and putting our energy into things that are taking it away and depleting us of our sacred energy so by the end of the day we have a cup empty coffee is one of the biggest things that does it it takes our energy because it has consequences a few hours down the line you feel good for the moment it's like a drug a stimulant stimulant you're like yes and then a few hours later you're exhausted again and it's the same cycle we're stuck on so coffee is a great one to quit if you're wanting to manifest your dream life i'm going to speak about that more because it is something that has really really helped me and i don't see a lot of it but understand coffee is one of the biggest businesses in the entire world just think about that it's addictive it's very very easy to make and something people need every single day right that is a big business okay so they're going to tell you things that maybe you don't want to hear but like oh it's good for you okay second one the second one is we've got to talk about it we've got to talk about it it's porn i have never spoken about this online but i feel it is my duty to share this because i see so many people men and women what is starting to happen is we are being stimulated by a screen which is of these people that we do not know. So what we are teaching ourselves is to not receive pleasure through feel, through our body, but we are stimulating our mind because we are so in a stimulated society through our mind. So what happens is we are not feeling into the body. We're actually numbed out from the body. We're actually completely disconnected from the body because then when we actually have sexual experiences with people, with lovers, with partners, what's happening is people are starting to try and like, create an illusion in their mind so that they can actually get stimulated or get aroused because Porn is creating this belief within a woman that if I watch this, I it's, it's teaching me that I am not in the moment, that I am not allowed to receive pleasure now. I have to create this fantasy land, this dream illusion, which isn't real. And it teaches us not to go after things. It teaches us to stay comfortable and to stay disconnected from our body. And so what happens is we deplete all our sexual energy, the energy that is used to create a human being, a baby, we deplete that and we throw it away on nothing. When in reality, when we actually know how to channel our sexual energy, which I can link a video down below, I've made on three ways to channel your sexual energy so that you can manifest 
manifest because it's a very powerful, potent Shakti energy, a feminine energy. When we use this energy in a more sacred way, because sexuality is so sacred, it is so holy, it is so pure, it is so beautiful when it is used in the right ways. But when we are depleting our energy on something that is very toxic to the mind, it's very much an addiction, it's very much like a drug, like anything else. When we are depleting it on the wrong intentions, we're not putting our vibration to loving our body, we're not putting the vibration to enhance ourselves, right? We are focusing on this like goal of just hitting the last mark, not actually enjoying the process, which is teaching us and very much creating this addictive pattern cycle, which is going to deplete, 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 deplete the energy, right? Because as women, we've been shamed. We've been told sexuality is bad. It is bad to be a sexual human being. And so we have been feeling shameful, disgusting, gross in our body, which is what suppresses our magical superpowers, is what suppresses all the magic is within us. So when we take back the power, we ignite the flame within, we feel the pleasure from within and not from a stimulant without us with outside of us and we really work on loving the body devoting to the body that is where we manifest a beautiful life because we're coming from that unconditional loving space for ourselves and we're not depleting our energy into something that is very much like a drug okay so the third one is screen time so you have to understand when you look at everyone's instagram stories their name is staying in your head then you're going to think of them throughout the day. You're going to think, oh, what do they compare, compare, compare. When we are on social media, we are giving away all our energy. I'm not kidding you when I say the screen is one of the biggest things when it comes to depleting your energy. So example, watching these videos, they're good because they're educational. They're giving you advice. But what I don't recommend you do is to then continue on another three hour cycle, watching all these other videos and being so consumed with so many thoughts and so many things you don't even have any connection to yourself. And then you're not able to go out and manifest your dream life because you're giving your energy away to a million different people, right? If my content doesn't resonate with you, that's fine. Go find someone whose content does. Or if it does, just focus on mine and maybe one or two others. Keep your life simplistic because what is happening is people are in an overstimulated society. We are watching and consuming more than we ever have and we are so flustered. We do not know where to go. We do not know where to look or how to be or how to act. When we go into ourselves, into our divine feminine energy, when we tune into our body, that is where we are given the roadmap, the direct map on where to go for our dream life because we are so in touch with our intuition. We are so in touch with the universal flows within our body. We are able to draw and magnetize that to us because we are in that receptive manifestation energy. We are allowing this in, right? So that is a very, very powerful trait. Cut down on your screen time, okay? The fourth one is alcohol. Alcohol, very much similar to uh, the coffee. It takes way more energy than it gives, right? And I'll give you an example. We drink, okay, we drink alcohol, we have fun for like a little bit, we're so out of it because our prefrontal cortex is completely dead, so we're doing stupid things that we normally, normally wouldn't do. The next day we're hungover, what happens? We lay in bed, our whole energy is depleted, we're like, Ugh. it's the worst feeling in the world being hungover. It is the worst feeling in the world. No goddess wants to feel like that. It's not a fun feeling, okay? So we feel hungover, then what happens? We probably ordered takeaway that night because we haven't eaten enough and we need fatty foods because we're hungover, okay? Then the next day rolls around, let's say it's Monday, Usually we'd want Monday to be the fresh start, the day where we have so much energy, right? But we don't because we did not plan or we did not do the self-devotional work to ourselves on the Sunday to the cherishment, to the love, doing more meditation, doing yoga, doing things for you, right? Last night I did like a one hour shadow work session. Then I did a womb ceremony for my body and fell in love with my body and really did that sexual energy. Then I meditated, then I read excuse me, I pick ups. Then I read, right? So I did the devotion for myself so that I could show up today and manifest my dream life to continue manifesting my dream life. But when we drink alcohol, do you see the layout that happens? The like ripple of dominoes, the butterfly effect that it lasts. It's actually like a four day recovery day as well as it lowers, lowers your vibration a lot. Now I'm not saying you, you can't quit. Like you, if you want to have alcohol or a glass of wine, like in the divine feminine goddess program down below, I share a lot on like having a glass of wine while doing your loving ceremonies and doing all these things. I'm not against it. But what I am against is getting so wasted and so hammered that you aren't able to go out and create the life that I know you desire and I know you deserve it. But we sabotage ourselves subconsciously because we don't believe we deserve it. So when we do more of these activities, when we really stop these things, such as coffee, such as porn, such as alcohol, screen time, when we stop all of these things, what's happening is we're realizing, wow, I do actually love myself. Wow. I actually am worthy of good things because I'm doing the work on myself. The feminine is not lazy. She is a self 
devotion queen. She is very self-sufficient and very, she has willpower because she knows her worth. She puts herself above anything. She puts her energy because when she does that, that's when she can go out into the world and create her dream life. And I want that for you. So you need to put yourself first. So when you quit any of these things, it is going to help you dramatically to manifest a dream life that feels good to your heart, that feels good, that lights you up, okay? And then the last one is the ego. So the ego is something that is a energy, energy vampire. The ego is something that completely takes all energy away from us. The ego tries to deplete, take away. It tries to suppress you, put you down. The biggest one is suppress you because it doesn't want you in your power. Your ego does not want you. It's scared of your potential because it knows how scary it's going to feel for the ego to know that it's not in control anymore because the body is, the divine feminine is, the shock, the energy is, the intuition is. But the ego doesn't like that because the ego is like, this is terrifying. This is not what I know. But the soul knows, the heart knows. That's the divine feminine. So when we let go of the ego, we receive more and more and more and more and more energy. When we are giving so much energy away to the ego, we are exhausting, we are depleting because the ego will never stop. The ego will continue to run in circles. Another hamster wheel, it won't get old. So in order to manifest your dream life, you need to tap more into the body, let go of the ego. That will give you so much more energy, right? You can do that through yoga, through dance. I give you um, literally every activity you can think of in Divine Feminine Goddess to um, really take the ego and put it in the back burner so that you can really create your dream life and come from that flaming passion and desire and hope that you know you have, that real flame. That is the Divine Feminine. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it found you well. Let me know down in the comments what you thought, if anything, you have questions or if you have any other things you'd like to help because all the people, we can help each other in the comments. So if there's other things you would recommend to quit, leave them down below. If you want me to make other videos on this, I will. I also wanna let you know that I have the Divine Feminine Goddess program down below, which helps you manifest your dream life through embodying Divine Feminine energy. So I'm gonna leave that down below and I hope you have a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.